What up, YouTube? Clip beats, no script, off the rip. Thank God I'm still here in this bitch. We got uh, some more Bill Burr. We got plastic surgery and lotion. I don't want to know. Actually, I do want to know. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor. Go to Bill Burr's channel. Please go throw him a like. Please go subscribe. That is the most important part. Um, this came off of me doing the Bill Burr versus Sarah Silver Silverman. Man, I did not know Sarah Silverman. I had some diehard fans that were not happy with that reaction. Jesus Christ, man. All I did was say I didn't like the fucking... I thought the interview was awkward. I thought she was a little bit weird. <laughs> People went off on me, man. Take it easy. Uh, but this was requested a few times. I'm going to check it out. If you guys have any requests, do me a favor. Comment. First off, hit subscribe. Shows up my analytics. Helps me out. Let's me know what you want more, Bill Burr. Comment down below. Let me know what's next. I don't know why I'm fucking rapping over here for you guys. But let's go. Hit the red button. So There's no more red button. Hit subscribe. I got to admit, the only thing that freaks me out about Los Angeles is, uh, is all the plastic surgery. I don't get it. Why do people get plastic surgery, you know? Why can't you just admit it's over? <laughs> you know, you had your time. Stop trying to look fuckable in your 50s. It's weird. Look at their faces yanked back. Looking all shiny, right? <laughs> Not to mention they haven't even figured it out. You know, why would you get a facelift? Can't you look at other facelifts and realize they haven't worked all the bugs out yet? When was this made? Because it's, it's gotten a little out of hand now. Now you can't even fucking do Now it's getting a little bit crazy. Two years ago? He didn't have hair two years ago, did he? He's got to be older than that, man. But I'm telling you, dude, nowadays, what, look what the fuck they do to Kylie Jenner. Can't you look at other facelifts and realize they haven't worked all the bugs out yet? <laughs> right? That's what you want to look like? Like you just lost a fight three days ago? <laughs> Don't be a hero. Let somebody else go in there. Take the fucking beach. You, you lay back. Wait it out. He was right, because now, like I said, now, it's not that bad. They're just lying to people. Oh, no, it looks great. It looks great. Put a little ice on it. We'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, take it easy. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened? Correction. There are some bad uh, surgeries still being done to this day, but there are also some really good surgeons that make it to where you can barely fucking tell. Or you could tell, but it still looks pretty good. I don't know. I'm, I'm at a crossroads. There's a line you can cross for me, and if it gets crossed, it's only my eye can see it, man. But yeah, there's, oh, well, it scares me. We followed every step. Did we miss something? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, here's your keys. Here's your keys. There you go. There you go. Almost didn't recognize you. You look so young. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> she gone? All right, she's gone. All right. Shred everything. Shred it. <laughs> no, you're nuts. You wait it out. Let them figure it out. Then you fucking go in. Don't be a goddamn hero. You know? Look at hair plugs. Hair plugs don't look half bad now. Saw this guy the other night on TV. He's like, oh, God, I wish I did this 10 years ago. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> 10 years ago, when they were stapling ant legs to the top of people's heads. <laughs> Remember that? Your eyes would water looking at their hairline. Like, is that, is that sewn in? I see pine tar. Bye, they should put you in like a headlock. Hold still. Use like a nail gun. Hold still. Guys. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Today, dude, they do some crazy hairline shit. Just hair. Jump. Dude, MGK. Go look up MGK's hairline before and after, bro. That shit is insane. They do the F-U-E and F-U-T. Yeah, I looked into it. I got, a, I got an amazing head of hair for my age. I'm just saying, like, I've looked into it because I probably might do it when I get older. My hair is my mane. It's my everything, but I always wear a hat. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I'm just kidding, but I'm probably going to do it. Uh, but today, it's way... Imagine 10 more years from now, but he's right. 10 years ago, you didn't want that shit. You guys would tap out after a... Still! Use like a nail gun. Hold still! You guys would tap out after a row and a half. Fuck it! I don't give a shit! A row and a half. So he does know about it. There's actually rows they do, like, with the graphs. You wish you got hair plugs 10 years ago. Do you wish you got polio 60 years ago? <laughs> what else is on your wish list, sir? <laughs> no, you don't fuck with your face. Okay? I understand liposuction. They screw that up. You can put on a shirt. Right? Good point. There's no shirt for your face. <laughs> Who do they think they're fooling with their stupid... You know? COVID masks. And then you lie to yourself. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do this. Just going just gonna, to just gonna have this done. No, you're not. You're not. What are you, you're just going to wax the fender on your car? Then that's it. And the rest of it looks all shitty. Well, maybe I'll just do the hood. And maybe I'll do the back. 
That's how it happens. Then you look like one of those real housewives with face all twisted up. That's crazy. I'm, I'm pausing. I know I shouldn't be pausing so much, but fuck it. I just want to break some shit down and talk about some shit with you guys. So I know women personally who get those Botox uh, injections all the time. And like, I'm telling you, man, it's so fun. How, how much, how expensive it is. And then like, they'll look, they'll look great. They look very youthful for like a month or a couple months, maybe. But then it's right back to the same thing. They got to go pay the same amount of money over and over again. It's like, that can't, one, that can't be good for long term. Two, it's not even worth it. You, you look decent for like two months. But it's not even that bad. Like, accept what you have, you know what I'm saying? To be able to grow old is a privilege, man. It's fucking idiots. Do I look? Yeah, they're idiots. Do I look like I'm in my 20s? No, you look weird. You look fucking weird. You still look like you're in your 50s. I just can't guess what year anymore because I've never seen that year. I've never seen that shiny fucking look. It's almost like you discovered a new age <laughs> between 52 and 53. Yeah. People, there's nothing wrong with being 52 and looking 52. All right, you're 52. You didn't get fucked. Yeah. What would you rather be, 52 and look 52, or be 52 and look like a 28-year-old lizard? <laughs> All right. That's your options at this point. <laughs> a 28-year-old lizard. Oh. That was good. You know what's really, <laughs> really like actually uh, embarrassing is that the facelift, that's predominantly a white problem. Yeah. You notice that? Black don't crack. I've never seen a black person with a facelift ever. Other than like the Jacksons, but they're all out of their minds, right? Because their dad made them rehearse all day and sleep in the fireplace. <laughs> right, jamming all nine. Get in there, you bastards! No hugs, no kisses. His face permanently twisted up from 50 years of screaming, Sing, motherfucker! <laughs> it's understandable with them. <laughs> hey, do you know why so many whiteies need facelifts? Whiteies. I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. Whiteies. That's the first thing I know. It's like, whiteies? <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! <laughs> you know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. That's a hundred percent true. I'll talk more about it later. See that? Only half of you left. That should have been everybody. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? <laughs> what is this lotion you speak of and what is the magic therein? <laughs> Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, but the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate? Because you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. All right, you got skin everywhere. Go! The circumference of lotion distribution. Check yourself out. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. <laughs> That's not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. It's like a dried out ground just full of cracks. I'm not um, judging you. Yeah, you are. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. Till one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. Yep. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. Oh. He looks Irish as fuck, so I'm sure he gets dry skin too because I, I have horrible dry skin. I put lotion on like a motherfucker. She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. <laughs> yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. I never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot, stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. She's track like, you marks. see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. It's got me itchy. I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. 
to figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. See that? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. Yeah. There's too much information in the world, and every group of people misses a little bit. White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. Uh, I mean, I learned, uh, I learned really early in my life. I don't know if it's because we can't see it. You know, black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. You know, they can see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What they is do. wrong with you? They do. Right? We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Oh, oh. Right? <laughs> Just never got the information. <laughs> the amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car uh. just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? <laughs> is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I... What's funny about that joke is I've known artists who try to get in trouble in, with the law before to try to like make their rap sheet look better. And it still happens to this day. Like I talked, I don't even want to get into it. I can't, but yeah, it still happens to this day. Auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. So stupid. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. <laughs> he just had one white friend in his entourage. Dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? <laughs> you out of your mind? He's itching himself because he's ashy. Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. Dude, how do you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? This guy's got an unregistered weapon in the car. Like, we're just going to go driving around with it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Why is he itching like a crackhead? <laughs> so see, there you go. All right? You don't need a facelift. Okay, lay off the booze, do some cardio, moisturize, you're gonna be fine. Okay, don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack, it's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day, it's ridiculous. They all get a giant oil drum of the shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, shake themselves off and walk out the door absolutely glistening, glistening. White guys like me are walking around, no hat on, hey, let's go sailing. Passing out face down in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> he said passing out face down in the sand. Yeah, UV rays will fuck you up too. Oh, dude, he's so funny, man. But like, you know what I love best about his material is it's real shit. Like, it's just all real shit that he's making funny. Which I guess that's what a lot of com comedy is. But man, I'm still new to the game. I'm still I'm still new to the uh, stand-up comedy. And I'm loving everything that I'm watching so far. I'm in tears at the end of each one of these, man. They're so good. Oh, man. But no, I, I learned about being ashy when I was a kid because my friends would tell me, hey, yo, you're ashy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I obviously had friends of different ethnicities and stuff like that. Uh, being from the South Side of Chicago, it's just, you know, you don't even think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just how it is. And uh, I learned really on, or, or early on in my life, man, because fucking during the winters, he's right. Like, dude, my beard will flake, my fucking hair, my, I fucking have to take, like, lotion and coconut oil and fucking just put it all in my hair and shit. Fucking suck. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And it does help with uh, looking better. It does, 100%. That's why I don't shave this beard all the way down. So I shave this beard all the way down. And like, Cliff Beats looking 18 in this motherfucker. I'm looking like a little kid. So I keep the beard. Like, when I, I had this beard when I was, like, 15 years old. And I was embarrassed of it when I was, like, 15 years old. Because I thought it made me look too old. And then, like, when I turned, like, 20, I was like, damn, I need to have the beard so I could look at least over 21. And I've had the beard ever since. <laughs> I've always kept it. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this was really good. Let me know what's next, guys. Gorilla story. See, walk your way out. Titty titty bars and porn, Dave Chappelle. All right, guys, see, let me know. I almost said fill me in. Pause. Comment down below. Let me know what's next. Um, do me a favor. Go to Bill Burth. Home a like. Go subscribe. If you enjoy watching with me, hit subscribe. Let me know what's next. Um, I love this shit, man. I, I'm down to check out more as long as I don't get copyrighted for it. I'm still fighting. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm not going to stop fighting. And uh, hopefully we're good, man. I'm making progress, but it's taking a lot of my time. Um, I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Let me know what's next. And uh, yeah, don't forget my Instagram is linked in the description down below. Why am I sniffling? Like I just did a bucket eight ball of cocaine. If you suffer from anxiety, depression, panic attacks, PTSD, uh, 
addiction, anything else like addiction, anything else like, like that, please reach out to me. I'm here for you guys 24-7. Guys, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't have this channel if it wasn't for you or these amazing artists who allow me to react to their content. So please reach out to me if you need me. Make sure you go subscribe to them. I'm not saying like follow me on Instagram or anything. I don't care. You don't have to. I'm saying like if you just need someone to talk to or just to lean on or something, I leave myself open to you because um, I feel there's not enough of that in the world anymore. And uh I don't know. I just I think it's fucking weird when people don't talk with their own viewers because without viewers, like your channel doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? So like, if you just need someone to talk to, just reach out. I'm always here for you guys. I love you. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Follow me to the next one. Hit the subscribe button. Helps me on my analytics. And uh, let me know what's next. Most likes is what I go with, unless it's spammed. Comment what you want me to check out next. Just spam the comment section. Hit the top. There's the right button.